Hello, Chipmunk and Chipet fans. My name is Grandy Tamias, and welcome to another Alvin and the Chipmunks elaboration video. Today's topic being the age order of the Chipmunks, particularly Alvin and Simon. This is perhaps the single biggest debate in the entire Chipmunk fandom, and tackling it is something that I know is probably going to seem a little controversial for me to do in this video. But once you know the evidence, the point of arguing about this just really falls apart. In fact, it's not that hard to comprehend. So without further ado, I'll get into it. First, there's the simple question itself. Who's older, Alvin or Simon? Well, which Alvin and which Simon? It's always important to know that with a franchise like Alvin and the Chipmunks having rebooted itself across multiple decades, each iteration of the core cast is going to have at least some small differences between the other ones, one of those differences in this case being the age order of the chipmunks. Theodore has always been implied to be the youngest of the chipmunks in every iteration, which hasn't necessarily been disputed, we just haven't found any evidence to say the contrary. But with Alvin and Simon, it's a trickier deal. One rather flawed argument I've heard chipmunk fans bring up is that Simon would have to be the oldest because he is the tallest and most mature. In regards to height, that's not really how age works. Let me try to appeal to your sense of logic. Even though Ross Bagdasarian Sr. and I never lived at the same time, he died at the age of 52, and I am younger than that. Therefore, he would have been taller than me, right? Wrong. He was 5 feet 7 inches at the time of his death, about the same height as Tom Cruise, who is also older than me. Trust me when I say that I'm actually taller than both of them, and I'm nowhere near my 50s. That's because height is actually dependent more on genetics rather than age. In the case of Simon, he just might have happened to get a good set of genes that Alvin and Theodore didn't from their real mother or father. As for maturity, I really don't think I need to explain this one because everyone has a different personality regardless of age. Just because Alvin is an impulsive hotshot doesn't mean he's younger than a calm and responsible person like Simon. Take it from me, I have a younger sibling who I won't say anything about, but let's just say that some of the maturity traits that I had gotten even before his age either emerged much later or haven't yet. Now let's take a look at the evidence, particularly the 80s series. In the season 6 episode Grounded Chipmunk, Alvin is left alone at the Seville house while his brothers and Dave visit an amusement park. Soon after they leave, Alvin says that he's never been alone before except, and I quote, those five minutes before Simon was born. End quote. This actually means three things. One. Alvin is older than Simon by five minutes, two, the chipmunks are triplets, and three, their mother, Vinny, would have to have told them this at some point after she was first seen in the 1985 special episode, A Chipmunk Reunion, since the boys were too young to remember that. That's also another reason why we know they're triplets, since their mother celebrates their birthday for all three of them on the same day. But again, that's only for the 80s series. In the live action films and current CGI series, that age order doesn't apply because those are different Alvins and Simons from the ones that came before. Both of those iterations share the same character bio for Simon, which states that he is 8 seconds older than Alvin. As far as the CGI series is concerned, this is supported in the season 2 episode The Sub when Alvin takes up a music teacher position at school and has a parent-teacher conference with Dave. At one point, he alludes to himself being the middle child when he says, and I quote again, and that you're not very nice to the middle one, end quote. And remember how a moment ago I proved that the 80s chipmunks are triplets? Well, in the CGI series, they're not. In the season 3 episode Sherlock Chipmunk, Theodore is seen celebrating his birthday alone. How they know that without Vinny in this universe is beyond me. But it's yet another thing that proves that there is no consistency with age order across all the different continuities. So to recap, in the 80s series, Alvin is the oldest, followed by Simon, and then Theodore. 
in the CGI films. Simon is the oldest, followed by Alvin and then Theodore. And in the CGI series, it's the same, except we know for sure that they aren't triplets. As for the Alvin show, I haven't seen all of that, so I wouldn't know anything about their birthdays in that. Uh, and as for the Chipettes, that's a story for another video. There you have it. All the evidence that their ages are different between each show and movie, and there is no single consistent age order for any of them. So I hope that this stops all the debating and we can just accept the age order of each series for what they are. Feel free to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Are you content now that I have cleared up this misconception? Or do you have evidence to support a different age order in a particular series? Don't forget that you're also welcome to like and subscribe and leave suggestions for future video topics. With that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time in watching it.